working side by side with Dr. Lack for a number of years now, I have the benefit of uh, watching him interact with the patients. And one uh -huh. of the things that I've heard him talk about a lot is the, um, the benefits to your heart from being on testosterone. Uh -huh. um, conversely, there's a, there's a danger if you have a low testosterone level to your heart. Your heart's a muscle. Yeah. Your heart's the strongest muscle in your body. Uh -huh. It has androgen receptors. It has hormone receptors. And in the absence of testosterone, those receptors are wanting for that molecule, for that molecule of testosterone. And as 30 becomes 40, becomes 50, the heart can actually atrophy as those receptors die off. And that's how a primary care doctor really puts a man in jeopardy by not testing his testosterone and not treating him. They're causing a problem with the heart. I've, I've seen a lot of benefits, you know, from the right dose of testosterone. Obviously, the people out there abusing it are putting themselves in danger. Um, but at the same time, you know, when you're under a managed level of testosterone, you know, great things happen. And Dr. Lack and all, all of our medical staff at CORE really practices this medicine very judiciously. Um, we don't condone bodybuilding. We certainly don't condone abuse. Um, and when this medicine is practiced properly, the benefits are, are enormous. So I think, Sid, the, um, a lot of the primary care doctors in the New England region are doing their, their patients uh, a big disservice because either they're not testing them mm -hmm. uh, or they're testing them and telling them um, that your levels are, are normal. And normal technically could be 300, which really, um, in Dr. Lack's opinion, 550 is the minimum threshold. Everybody should be at, at a minimum 550 or up. Um, so the, the problem that... The average patient at core is around 700, right? Right. Correct. Yeah. Um, the, uh, the problem with the, the primary cares is they're, they're putting the, their men at, at jeopardy um, because the heart's, a, the heart's a muscle. The heart's the strongest muscle in the body. Uh, and just like your bicep, it depends on having the proper amount of testosterone, the right amount of hormones to, to fill those androgen receptors, those testosterone Avoid atrophy. receptors. Avoid atrophy. So um, the primary care doctor who tells his 40-year-old um, male you're fine, you're fine, Joe. Uh, just eat a little bit better and you'll be fine. Uh, he knows he's not feeling right. He knows he has no energy. Uh, his brain might be foggy. He's lost interest in sex. He sees weight gain that he can't get off and just a general uh, malaise. And he knows something's not right. And uh, the doctors either, uh, either are refusing, the primary care doctors are either refusing to treat um, or they're not even testing. So. Um, Dr. Lack will take these, these patients in, he'll test them, he'll put them on the therapy, and, and by doing that, he's replenishing their body with a safe and normal amount of testosterone, which in turn keeps their heart healthy as they go forward through the years.